Hey, what's going on everybody? Sylvania1012 here, and we are part 6 in Amnesia. Let's just get right down to it. I found the fucking machine key, and we're gonna go into the machine room, and I got that blue little rod thing, and I got that red little rod thing, and we're just gonna... I don't know. Bizarre. I don't know. Something with electricity. Oh, hello. I feel like such a fucking idiot. Like, first the drill. Then I, I was like, oh, well, like, this door won't budge. It's broken. It's your fucking crowbar. Will Smith. Now, oh, fuck this shit. We're running. This room, as creepy as it is, seems like the only safe haven. Into the machine room we go. Oh, helps if I get the fucking key. Pink. In we go. Oh, creepy sounding. Not at all. Okay, now I can't fucking stop yawning! What the fuck kind of shit is this? I kinda don't wanna be in here. I don't wanna be anywhere. I really don't. Anything hiding anywhere? No. Oh. I'll just like one. Oh, hello, Tinder. Oh, the sweet, sweet Tinder! Gimme! Put them all in the corner. Stop that. July 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Sorry. That's the fact that it's boring is like I think I'm actually getting tired. But I at least want to see how far I can get in this without shrieking my pants off. Hi. purposely to obstruct your way. I have a barrel, I know how to fucking use it. Barrel, sit right there and guard. Prehistoric, uh, well, not prehistoric, but like 18th century PlayStation. Oh, 
Not that there are only two spare rods left. Okay, so three would crank again. Fourteenth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. I don't think sedatives would be a great idea. No matter what type of sedative I take, I end up having nightmares regardless due to the sedatives. Like for instance, like you know, like these are over counter stuff. I don't, I don't go to a doctor for the hardcore stuff. I, I don't want that. I don't, you know, I'm not really big on pills to begin with. But like Unisom, holy crap, that just puts crap. Holy crap, <laughs> that just puts me in a freaking coma, like state. Um. Then there's like Advil, Tylenol, PM. That actually gives me some weird dreams. Like last one I had, last night I had a pretty odd one. And yeah, that was, that shit was fun. Why are these gears all over the place? I have a feeling that they belong somewhere. I kind of want to just leave them in here. I have a funny feeling they belong in here or something. Wait. Oh! So there's a third one. Okay, so I gotta find Square. PlayStation time. Again, I have a fucking barrel and how to use it. I will slam it in your face. puzzle to solve and it's an easy one for once.
Time to get that other cogwheel. It would suck if I like was just turning a corner and I ran right into the fucking monster. That would suck so bad. in there. Can I put a box in there? Damn, box won't work. No, nothing in there. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Some more balls. Have some more black balls. Don't even go there, guys. I don't know how much of this shit I'm supposed to put in there, but I'm. Yay! I did a thing! It's burning nicely. Machine, what more do you fucking want? I forgot I had that still burning. Because I'm a moron like that. I don't care, I wanted to add more. No. Game? What more do I freaking need to do to get this machine working? Mementos, do you know anything? Find a way to start the engine to power the elevators. because I need to find that other rod. Yeah, it's that last rod. But where the frick is it? moment I'll be right back okay so it seems that I'm missing one 
flippin' rod from the study and storage area. <laughs> I really don't want to go back down there, but it seems that I have to freaking go back down there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. Um, yeah, I know I said I'd be right back and I would fast forward to it and everything, but uh, apparently I just fast forward to this part. What the fuck? Ugh. Ew, it's squeeze. That's guest room. gotta be fucking in here in the study area. Missing it somewhere. It's gotta be fucking somewhere. But it can't be in the- I already broke all you! What the fuck? has to be somewhere. <laughs> Fuck you, owl. That noise.
had to miss it somewhere. Kind of terrifying. Pick up the dog? No. They're a little fucked up anyway. is it? Like, seriously. <laughs> you, sir, your face was all... Still need the rod. Okay, do get it. <gasps> yes. I, I already read up all on this shit. Bunch of switches at some point. Take in the torso with me. Oh, really? Oh. Help! 
we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna restart my game because it's laggy as hell. Okay, now we're back, and I am not as laggy as shit. It was because of the graphics itself, my computer. Sadly, can't really handle it that well, I guess. Sounds like someone's like squeezing things together in there. Don't really know what, but. Alright, there was something. My phone just scared the shit out because it does have a habit of. Turning on and off. Now let's see. That taste. That fragrance. The maskless rose. I think it's the other way around. Oh, that was a good guess.
Okay, that's what I thought. So, what the fuck did I do wrong? Four-phased. Goes here. Flow. Finally. have it that loud, I would probably would have gone deaf. What the fuck just happened? Damn it. 
Daniel, come on. Come on. Get your wits about you. Responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Okay, so that other voice is the baron. I've been like half assed paying attention to the story. Sorry. Scaredy Cat Daniel is pretty fucking strong. Except when he gets stuck and stuff. like stay right here and um yeah i'm gonna save right here and save this part for part seven so thank you guys for watching i hope you're enjoying this it is freaking eerie the crap out of me because i've only watched it up to a certain point and i've seen other people play this game and i'm just kind of like i don't remember a lot i don't remember a lot of details i don't know if they actually like cut out a ton of shit besides like their own crap of like having dumb moments like I am but they seem to be a lot smarter to me um but yeah thank you for watching and I hope to get more of this done for you guys and I'm glad you're enjoying it and I will see you in the next time there you go I am really tired I should go to bed I should not be playing these before I go to bed it is what it is but yeah See you guys later. Bye-bye.